Two against time, CBS Sunday. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, do, do the pancakes come with potatoes? Okay, no, then scratch that whole order. I want an omelet, ham and cheese with uh, lots of hash browns and a side of pancakes. Oh, and an English muffin. Blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin and uh, some fruit. Great. Thank you. Hurry. Okay. I have got to stop eating so much when I'm so nervous. Oh, Snickers, honey, I need your help. I gotta talk this out. So you just be a good little bunny. Sit here and listen carefully, okay? This is very important. I have right here, exhibit A. Dahlia Ventura's watch, which I found in our cottage on the floor. Now, what possible conclusions can we draw? Well, first, that Dahlia planted the watch there so that I would believe Simon is responsible for her disappearance, so that I would be afraid of him, which he's never even hurt anyone or me, or and especially Dahlia's sister, Monique, which she thinks he murdered, but he didn't. Are you getting this? Okay, now, however, if I didn't believe that Simon would be responsible for such a horrible crime, why then didn't I go home last night with him? Why did I come back here and start eating so much that I'm working my way into a bigger leotard? Good question, huh? Okay, now, moving on to exhibit B, which is my very healthy first residual check from my workout video, which if this is indeed real, would make me a very rich woman, just like Monique, who Simon is accused of murdering. So, any conclusions? Right, my thoughts exactly. I didn't go home last night for the same reason that I haven't shown Simon this check. Because Dahlia's plan is working. It's working. She has actually made me afraid of my very own wonderful husband. <laughs> hey, Mama. Sorry it took so long. I didn't hear the bell. I was just knocking gently. I thought Lily might still be asleep. Good thinking. She was feeling a little queasy this morning, so I sent her back to bed. It's early months of pregnancy can be pretty hard. Yeah. I know. No, you don't know. You've only heard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Mama. Can you do me a favor since you're here? I gotta take Luke to school. Uh -huh. I know Faith, she would not oh, want to tag along. Sure, I'll, I'll, I'll stay with her. Fine. Uh, One good thing about having <laughs> someone with a motorcycle, you always know when he's about That's to show right. up. He's been rumbling around on that thing all morning. <laughs> Anyone call from Seattle yet? Oh, I told Aaron that Caleb was gonna call. I didn't think it was a secret. No, it's not. But he hasn't called. He will. Aaron, I thought I heard your bike. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, Doing that school thing today? Yeah, I have to. Hey, Dad, can Aaron drive me to school on his bike? You know how I feel about that bike, Luke. Oh, man, I never get to do anything. Aaron can drive you to school in my car, but that's the best you're gonna get out of me this morning. Would you, Aaron? Doesn't take that long. Sure. I got time. All right. All right. Just make sure that he sits in the back and make sure that he puts Dad, his seat. you don't have to tell us. <laughs> Keys? The uh, small button is for the alarm. Bye, Dad. See you, Grandma. Bye, bye sweetheart. Come on, let's go, Aaron. Good day. Aren't you going to tell me to drive carefully? I can tell you if you want me to, but I'm sure Luke would say it's not necessary. Right. Well, I didn't know whether it was going to happen, but it has. What's that? Aaron's become part of this family. Okay, well, look, my brother walked out of here last night with Hal Munson's three-year-old son, and you're telling me you can't find him yet? Well, Carl, that's just not good enough. No, they didn't leave town. If anything, my brother would hang around for the morning edition to see himself in the paper. I, I, um... So, if you need more bodies, I'll send him over. And let me just remind you that the boy is in absolutely no danger. I'll put the entire department on it if necessary. Well, so... Oh, man. That's the third cup of coffee this morning that's gone cold on me. Any word on where your brother has taken my nephew? We are working on it. Meaning no, right? Right, but did you hear the part about Parker not being in any danger? Oh, I heard, yes. But seeing as how kidnapping could be a federal offense, I think I'll get the FBI involved. They could be more objective than you. Uh, look, no, don't, please, don't. 
do that. Really, that won't help. It'll only make things worse. How could it make things worse? You've had the entire night to find Parker, and you still haven't done it. Look, I understand that this must be frustrating for you, that it must be frightening you, but we will find him, I promise. I realize you don't want your brother to go to jail, and I'm sorry, but don't you think Parker's safety has to come first? Uh, of course it does, it does. <laughs> Listen, Rosanna, if I thought for one moment, okay, this could be something. Hughes. Great, what have you got? All right, all right, I will be right there. So, spotted Craig's car. This could all be over, and you would have called the FBI for nothing. May I come with you? Sure, I'd welcome the company. Thank you. But I'm warning you, Margo. If this doesn't... It won't, it won't, I promise. It won't. I went on chemo at the time my oldest daughter was getting married. We had planned everything, the fabric, the design, the whole gown. But when it was time to sew the dress, the chemo, it makes you weak. My whole life I've made clothes for other people, but for my own daughter's wedding, I was too tired to make the dress. Are you a chemotherapy patient? Ask your doctor about Procrit. Procrit is a natural way to regain red blood cells lost during chemotherapy. And more red blood cells can mean more strength. Procrit is safe and effective. In studies, only diarrhea and edema occurred more often with Procrit than placebo. Procrit is for patients with non-myeloid cancers. Call now and learn how Procrit can help you get back the strength you need. Your strength for living. In life, you take the bitter with the sweet. But I plan to end up with more sweet. This weekend, Enterprise Rent-A-Car announces special low rates from just $9.99 a day. Friday till Monday from just $9.99 a day. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. We're showing off the practicality of Scott Tissue in a place where common sense reigns supreme. In Scotland. <laughs> Let her rip! Every roll has a thousand sheets. And it's fourth to the Lama in April. I like the name. Scott Tissue. Common sense on a roll. Rich Farm Milano Cookies. Rich chocolate, exquisite cookies. Sharing is overrated. Pepperidge Farm, never have an ordinary day. Who are you? I'm Snuggle. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm Snuggly Soft. Please leave. Bye-bye. Uh. When it comes to real softness, there's only one Snuggle. Snuggle. There's no substitute for softness. Come on. You can do it. Just 30 seconds of Listerine, twice a day. Sure, it's a little intense, but think of all the germs you're killing. Listerine even kills the germs that can cause plaque and the gum disease gingivitis. That's right, you're fighting plaque and gingivitis every time. Keep it up, keep it up. Don't wimp out now. There, see, you can handle it, germs can't. Listerine, worth the time, every time. In the fight for freedom and justice. All we're trying to do here is find out the truth. You can never have too many heroes. The smash hit JAG, CBS Tonight. Something wonderful from Martha Stewart, tomorrow on The Early Show. Okay, I'm here. Where are they? Are they in custody? Uh, no one's seen them. Last night or this morning. Oh. What you call me for? Craig's car is right outside. You wouldn't just abandon it. Night manager said the cook's car was stolen. Stolen? Out of the parking lot last night. Oh, man, Craig, you didn't. This is just... Uh, um, don't panic. Uh, nothing has changed. We're just looking for the right car now. Your brother's reputation was never the best. No one ever mentioned that he was also a car thief. He didn't do that. He would never do, except that he just did. <laughs> Who knew that Craig could not wire a car, huh? <laughs> you seem to be learning a lot about him these days, Margot. 
Perhaps calling the FBI might make things easier on you. No, no, absolutely not. It's too soon for that, much too soon. Um, get a full description of that car called Dispatch. Tell them to put out an APB on it, and then I want you to check out playgrounds, toy stores, children's clothing, apparel, any place an adult would take a child, okay? Go, now, would be good. Go, go. Hurry, please. Um, and supplies. Craig will need supplies, so he'll go into a shop. A clerk will recognize him, and this could be over in a matter of hours. I wish I could be as confident about that as you are. Oh, Rosanna, if, even if it takes another day to find Parker, trust me, he is perfectly safe. Maybe, which, maybe, oh, maybe, oh, I have an idea where Craig might have taken Parker. Based on what? Based on years of knowing how his mind works. Then why are we still standing here? Oh, we're not. Let's go. You know what the operative word he is here, Parker? Anticipation. Can you say that? Anticipation. You know what that means? It means you figure out what the other guy's going to do before he or she does it. For example, your Aunt Rosanna's going to be looking for you, which means she's going to have the police and the National Guard out. So what do we do? We anticipate that they'll be combing the streets looking for my car, so we get rid of it and get this. Not exactly a fair trade, but such is the price of freedom. No. How are you doing? You comfort in there? Yeah? Okay, good. Did I tell you how much I'm enjoying this? Because I am, you know. You are the best company to be on the lamb with since mint sauce. And I mean that. That's a compliment. Can you say thank you? Don't mention it. So, where do we go next? Wanna go to miniature golf or ice cream? Or what about a toy store? Toy store? Uh, yeah. Approval. Then we gotta get you some clothes. Maybe some of those sneakers with the lights that light up. Huh? You like that? This has been a tough couple months for you, huh? You've been all over the place. Your mom's, dad's, John's. You know, I know exactly where we should go. You ready back there? All right, well, let's do it. You know, your mom is going to be very grateful to me for rescuing you from Aunt Rosanna. Huh? And maybe Uncle Craig might become something more important. You like the sound of that? Yeah, so do I. No, Simon did not kill Dahlia. What am I thinking? She wants me to think that he did. That's what she wants, and I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going to. It's just, oh, I wish Simon would have gone to the police about some of this stuff. gets here, I'll get my mind off of everything. There, I feel better already. I took one look at him and started thinking about a joint checking account. Dark hair, just waiting for a set of fingers to run through it. Eyes, the color of cracked pepper. Lips that curled in all the right places. He moved like a panther on the prowl, and I was ready and willing to make that kitty purr. Hold it there, dollface. I was thinking we should talk. Sorry, my mother told me never to talk to strangers. Maybe we should be introduced. Simon Fraser's the name. Ring a bell? The name hit me like a two-by-four in the back of the head. 
was Simon Fraser, a homicidal husband. No, I've never heard of you. Are you some kind of celebrity? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. Too tall to be a jockey, so what's your game? I'm an investor. Stock market. Dames. Well, Mr. Investor, this is one fund that ain't feeling so mutual. Wait. Wait. I know I've done a few shady things in my past. But from the moment I laid eyes on you, looking like a scoop of rum raisin smothered in whipped cream, I knew my life had changed forever. Stay with me, doll. Let me show you just how good a man I can be. I'd heard all the stories about the women he'd ruined. Their broken souls and their empty bank accounts. Was he telling me the truth? I couldn't take the chance. I'm gonna go back inside. I just felt a sudden chill in the air. Come on, sweetheart. Do yourself a favor. Trust me. How do you trust a guy like that and hang on to your self-respect? How do you hand him your heart and make sure he doesn't steal the rest? The answer was easy. You don't. Out of my way, Mr. Fraser. You're one mistake I'm not gonna make. Look, I know I'm a gamble, Cupcake. But every now and again, you just gotta take a game a chance. Roll the dice. Paradise. <laughs> Be careful, babe. Love can be a real killer. Help. Help me. No, oh, of course I'll help you, sugar. Take my hand. Katie? Katie. Oh, hey, what, what are you doing here? Uh, looking for you? How come you didn't come home last night? I, uh, I was working on some fan mail from the video. All night? Yeah, well, I, you know, I, it got late. I was kind of tired, so um, I called you at the cottage, but you never answered. Okay. So where is it? What? The fan mail. Oh, I took it to the post office. Oh. Katie, why are you lying to me? What, what are you trying to hide? Well, why would you think I was lying to you? Uh, because I know you, and, you, and your voice kind of goes higher when, when you do lie to me. Do you know that? No. No, it doesn't. Come on, just tell me. Just, just come clean about whatever it is and we'll deal with it. It's just taken us a long time to work out trusting each other. I would hate to have to start that all over again. You want the very best for your best friends. Proper nutrition, regular exercise. And when it comes to monthly heartworm, you can forget it. Now there's ProHeart 6. Just one dose from your veterinarian protects against heartworm disease for six months. Used with caution in sick, debilitated, or underweight animals. Side effects may include mild swelling or itching at the injection site. Forget monthly heartworm. Remember ProHeart 6, the six-month preventative only from your veterinarian. Facts of Life by Lysol. Fact, with kids, you need all the strength you can get. Fact, Lysol Cleaner is the best because it kills germs even in water. Pine Sol doesn't disinfect when diluted. Lysol stands strong. Life demands Lysol. That's a fact. I de-ice my iced tea. Sensitive teeth? Stop the pain of hot or cold just by brushing with dentist-recommended Sensodyne toothpaste every day. Sensodyne creates a barrier to block pain. Just change my toothpaste? That's easy. Stop the pain. Change to Sensodyne. Thinking about making the switch to Clarinex? Talk to your doctor to see if Clarinex is right for you. Call 1-800-CLARINEX for your seven-day free trial. Experience Clarinex. Introducing a whole new Energizer Max. With so much extra power inside, it's the longest-lasting Energizer Max ever. Do you have the bunny inside? Irregularity can keep you tied up in knots. But you don't need to be irregular. All you need is Colace. With Colace, you get safe, gentle, reliable relief from irregularity. So you can relax and take it easy. Take doctor-recommended Colace for gentle regularity and try Pericolase for fast, overnight relief. We always said when the kids leave home, we'll do things together. How about golf? How about antiquing? 
Bowling might be good. How about a nice dinner together? You're on. Stouffer's Home Style Entrees lets us enjoy those great family meals I used to make, like baked chicken breast and creamy mashed potatoes. I just whip up a salad and let Stouffer's do the rest. Dancing. We're getting there. Stouffer's, nothing comes closer to home. Honestly, Simon, don't you think you're being overdramatic a little bit? No, actually, I think I'm handling this pretty well. My wife didn't come home last night. I really just kind of want to know why. I told you already. It, I was tired. It was late. Craig and Lucy weren't around, so I had a, enjoyed a nice, quiet evening. Something that we used to enjoy together, remember? I've just been busy with video these last few months, and then all this craziness with Dahlia. I guess I just didn't really realize how burnt out I was. Okay. Fine. That's cool. I spoke to Margo. No kidding. I told her that you found Dahlia's keys amongst my stuff. You did? Oh, honey, that's wonderful. You've been so reluctant to go to the police. Look, I should have gone to them in the first place. I really should have. And when I started talking stupid about wanting to bury them, I... I don't know what came over me. Simon, it is perfectly understandable. This came as a total surprise to you. <clears throat> what did Margo say? She said she was going to give the keys to her forensic people and, and continue to investigate. Investigate what? You told her they were planning, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, of course you? I did. I did, yeah, but the problem... The problem is that... the lab techs found something else in Dahlia's car which completely changes the case. Well, what was it? Traces of blood, AB positive, which is um, Dahlia's blood type. No. I, I mean, she probably just cut herself or, you know, skinned her knee getting into the I car. I know, I know. She could have, yes. And, and, and that blood type is a very popular one. A lot of people have that. The thing is, now that they've found blood, it changes from a missing person. They have to now investigate the possibility that Dahlia was killed. No, I don't, I don't believe this. Dahlia put that blood there so people would think that she was dead. And that is exactly what I told Margot, and she also agrees that it, it, that is a possibility. Then there's nothing to worry about. You've been honest. Now Margot knows that it was a setup, and we can just go on with Unfortunately, Katie, it's not that simple. Until we know otherwise, I was still the last person to see Dahlia alive. I had a very public argument the night that she disappeared, and I'm smack in the middle of this, and it is going to get worse before it gets better, trust me. Hold on. So you're saying that now you're for sure a suspect? Margot didn't say as much, but I, I do now have to make an official statement. A statement. Just like you had to do when Monique died. Look, it is standard procedure. It, it really, it, it's nothing more than that. And as it happens that I'm innocent, a hundred statements isn't going to change that. Of course you are. That's why I hate that you had to go through all of this. I can't believe that anyone would believe that my wonderful, amazing husband is a... You know. What is that? Door. Who is it? Room service. Oh, oh I forgot that he was on his way. Hey, uh, good morning. Good morning. Anything special you'd like me to put this? Yeah, over here's fine. That's great. Thank you. You ordered all of this? I just didn't really eat that much last night. your grip, sister. Take my hand. Let me hold you to safety. If it had been any one of a thousand other men, I'd have grabbed that mitt in a second. But this was Simon Fraser, the homicidal husband. I can help myself up. I work out on a regular basis. Do yourself a favor and trust me. Come on, don't look at me like that. What am I anyway? A fate worse than death itself? It was a good question. 
Trusting Simon Fraser wasn't the smartest move I could make, but my arms were starting to tire, and every once in a while, a gal's got to take a chance. All right, help me up, you big lug. What's the matter, huh? You scared? Thanks for the lift. I guess people were wrong about you. You can be trusted. Trust this. Katie, I thought you were hungry. I am. I'm right there. Everything okay? Carly lived, I would have come for Parker a long time ago. Oh, no, 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 this isn't Carly's mess. Um, somebody broke in here after she disappeared. And did what? Um, held one of our detectives hostage. It's been a rough couple of months. Yes, I can see that. Well, shall we go? Obviously, Craig and Parker aren't here. Might as well leave. Well, why don't we just wait? See, maybe if they show up. I don't know about that, Margo. Who knows what diseases we might pick up? Oh, please, come on. What are you doing? Well, I don't want Carly to come back and find this mess. And I don't know about you, but sometimes it makes me feel better, it takes my mind off things if I clean up. I'm gonna go find some garbage bags. Wonderful. So, how long has Carly been living here? Not long, why? Must have been quite a come down for her after living at Fairwinds. Does she own this place? Um, actually, Molly Conlon owns it. Carly moved in here after Molly got married. Oh, well, I'm sure that was quite difficult for her as well, watching Molly get everything. <laughs> well, no, as I recall, she was really happy for Molly. Oh, Carly doesn't have it in her to be that generous. Here. You know, I'm not really um, that close to Carly, but motherhood has changed her. It really has. Margot. Carly may appear to change, if it suits her purposes. Inside, she is the same selfish, grasping person that she's always been. Uh, listen, uh, Parker, I know I told you we'd come get some of your toys, but if we do it now, we're gonna get caught, all right? So, listen, we'll come back later, but right now we gotta scram, see? Jungle style. All right, Caleb, uh, I'll tell Aaron. As soon as he gets back. Yes, I promise, I'll tell him. Bye-bye. <sighs> Sorry about that. Uh, Luke wanted me to meet some of his friends. I can understand that. Not everyone has a big brother with a motorcycle. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the... Uh, hang on a sec. I just spoke to Caleb, and he gave me some news that you're not gonna like. What's that? He's coming out here next week, and he says he wants to take you back to Seattle with him. I'm not going. I figured you might say that, and I told him that, but he says it's his opinion that you belong with him and Julie. What's your opinion? Well, you've been living with him for a very long time, and I know that he cares about you a lot. So, so you didn't even argue with him? Argue? No. Why not? You're still my father, aren't you? Uh, hi, guys, what's going on? Uh, nothing. How you doing? You all right? Well, do you ever feel like you just want to disappear and just evaporate in thin air? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, that's my day in a nutshell. And if you were supposed to testify at my own trial, and I don't know what I'm going to say. Well, you tell the truth as you know it. If that's not the best you can do, then... I don't know what is. I know what you need. You need some food. How about some food? Let me uh, make you both something to eat. Can I do that? Actually, I was gonna head out to the farm and take my horse out for a ride. Right now? Yeah, I thought it would clear my head. Well, Abigail, what if you fall off the horse? Hold on, I haven't fallen in years. Well, listen, I, I, I don't want to risk it. So why don't you just stay here? We have to go to 
through the trial soon. Uh, and you can ride when we, when we get back. But hold in, I... Uh, listen, Abigail, I'm serious about this. I don't want you to do it. Okay. Do you feel that strongly about it? I do. Thank you. Now, if you want me to get you something to eat, I will. No, eating's the last thing I want to do right now. Okay. I understand. I'm going to go talk to Lily for a little bit. We'll pick up this discussion when I get back. Is everything okay between you two? Same. Same as always. Uh, I'm just going to head upstairs. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll take you to the farm. I have a bike. Thanks, but you heard Holden. He'd rather I stay here. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't ask him. I asked you. I've always had the will to win. It's what drives me to do more. And when it comes to your health, you can do more. A medicine called Altase can help. I take it for high blood pressure, but it may also help you in a different, important way. If you're 55 or older, and have had a heart attack or stroke or have diabetes, plus another risk factor, you can do more. When added to existing medications, Altace was clinically proven to further reduce the risk of stroke, heart attack, and cardiovascular death. Prescription Altace is not for everyone. Altace may cause swelling of the mouth, tongue, or throat, which could cause extremely serious risk and requires immediate medical care. Common side effects include persistent dry cough, dizziness, and lightheadedness due to low blood pressure. Do not take Altace during pregnancy as death or injury to your unborn child may result or if you've experienced serious side effects related to previous ACE inhibitors. You can do more. Go ahead. Ask your doctor about Altace. Bonnie's toothpaste stopped fighting plaque before her first cup of coffee. Clark's won't make it past his donut. You see, most toothpaste can't fight plaque after you eat or drink, when teeth become more vulnerable to bacteria. But Colgate Total is different. Its patented combination of ingredients attach to teeth to protect for 12 hours, even after eating and drinking. Isn't it nice to know you use Colgate Total? Colgate Total, 12-hour protection. Is that Heartburn. Zantac 75 knows it comes in many shapes and sizes, brought on by food or triggered by stress. But fast heartburn relief anytime always comes in this shape, this size. Zantac. When there's too much acid, Zantac quickly blocks the strongest acid trigger to relieve heartburn fast. Yet it's so gentle, you can use it anytime. Whatever the shape or size of your heartburn, remember Zantac. The shape of fast heartburn relief anytime. Every drop tastes so crisp and fresh, you'll think it has to be bottled water. But it's fresh filtered Brita water. Great tasting water without the bottle. Got an itch? Scratching tears up skin. Maximum strength Lanocaine saves your skin from scratching with maximum anti-itch medicine and antibacterial to help kill germs. Lanocaine stops the itch, saves your skin. Wednesday on 60 Minutes 2. Is cancer or heart disease in your future? The answer is in your genes. So is the cure. Visit the next frontier of science Wednesday at 8, 7 central. The dead are talking. And one man is listening. Getting a communication from a woman whose son is here. But what they are about to tell him will uncover a mystery no one could have imagined. Ted Danson, Mary Steenburgen, living with the dead. CBS Sunday, April 28th. Every year, thousands of children are born with cerebral palsy or brain damage. My name is Jeff Brody, attorney and president of Litigators Incorporated. My sister died leaving behind a brain damaged child. If a mistake at birth caused CP or brain damage, your child may be entitled to lifetime care continuing even after you're gone. A substantial money settlement won't undo the damage, but it will help you put the pieces back together. There are time limits, so please call 1-800-LAW-3350. Why 
why pay rent when you can own from just $7.49 a month? Ryland Homes presents townhomes designed for the way you live today in Lockport, Gilbert, Haynesville, or South Elgin. Ryland features first-class carpentry and service from Dank and Roche Builders, sewer and water main installation by Neptune Construction, and the silent floor system by Trust Joist. Own a townhome throughout Chicagoland from just $7.49 a month. For free brochure, call Ryland Homes at 1-800-929-5062. Watch Kelly Who, Bo Derek, and Vivica A. Fox. Next, Hollywood Squares. Tonight at 6, followed by Entertainment Tonight. Race through the most exotic places on Earth. Don't miss an all-new Amazing Race, CBS Wednesday. I'd love to take a ride on your bike sometime, Aaron, but Holden was really clear about me not going. Holden's upstairs. We'll be back before he misses us. Yeah, but it's a big day and everyone's upset enough. You're the one on trial. Shouldn't you do whatever makes you feel better? We'd have to make it really short. That's up to you. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'm just gonna go tell Holden. Why? Well, I've put him through a lot. And he's never once complained or blamed me. If I'm gonna do something that he's asked me not to do, the least I can do is be honest with him. He's gonna say no, Abigail. He's gonna treat you like a little kid. That's all he needs to be more uptight. No speeding. No speeding, you got that? It's only speeding if you get caught. Honey, we really picked out a dress for you to wear in court today. She wants you to try it on. here for why this sudden interest in Carly's son from the day Parker was born I promised myself that I would be somebody that he could count on if he ever needed me I mean, after all I practically bribed Carly into having him I felt I owed him something okay I'll buy that but it's important for you to know that Carly is a good mother do you believe that oh yes I believe that I do and um, because I believe it, I've been willing to certainly keep my distance. But with Carly and Hal both out of the picture, I felt it was time for me to step in. Parker needs to know that he has other family members who also care about him. You're the one who keeps saying how important family is. I just want to know Parker, and I want him to know me. All right. Thanks for being honest. Well, thank you for letting me. Well, it doesn't appear that Craig and Parker are coming back here, so I guess you want to go to the station with me and brainstorm about where they might have gone, huh? Actually, that's very nice of you to offer, but I think I'll do a little investigating on my own at this point. Does that mean you're going to call the FBI in? No. Oh. At least not at the moment. Oh, okay. Good. Great. Thanks. Well, mm -hmm. I'll give you right back to your hotel. Actually, Margo, uh, one other thing. Um, does your brother honestly think that Parker would be that unhappy with me? Oh, yeah, that's probably part of it. But actually, uh, knowing my brother, he's, I'm sure, doing this to impress Carly to get her to fall in love with him, or at the very least feel indebted to him. He wants her that badly? Oh, apparently so. Come on, you piece of garbage, kick in. No! All right, rest. Get yourself together. Flame on. Oh. Give yourself a tip there, Parker. Never try to make a getaway in anything less than a high-performance vehicle. You know what I mean? to the toy store yet. We will. Be patient. Okay? You know, I had a son once. His name was Brian. 
And when you turn your head like that, you look a little bit like him. Children should be with their mommies and daddies, don't you think? Don't you think that's the way of the world? It didn't work out that way for Brian and me, but sometimes I feel like I'm closer to him than I ever was. You know? Well, I guess Uncle Craig gets a little sappy sometimes, and so what? So what? Huh? What do you say? You want to give this another time? Give it a shot? All right. Let's go. Here we go. Attention all units. Be on the lookout for a 1991 Yugo sedan. License number 4047. Papa November. Car was last seen on Route 26 headed north. Well, they're on to us. I don't think this town is big enough for the two of us, buddy. You get yourself undone. Because, partner, we're gonna have to hightail it on foot. Asthma was only going so far and always wanting to go further. Today, there is Adver. Ain't no mountain high enough. Adver is clinically proven to increase symptom-free days because Adver is the first and only product to effectively treat the two main components of asthma, airway constriction and inflammation. No other single product does that. Adver won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden symptoms and should not be taken more than twice a day. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Adver, which contains an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body may not be as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. If you have heart or blood pressure problems, tell your doctor. Some people may experience a change in heart rhythm. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Ask your doctor if Advair is right for you. Advair, because life should take your breath away, not asthma. Uh, operator, I'd like to make a collect call, please. First name, Bob. Last name is... We ought to baby eat the boy. Hello? Collect call for Mr. Bob. We ought to baby eat the boy. Sorry, wrong number. Who's that, dear? Bob. They had a baby. It's a boy. Oh. Don't cheat the phone company. Save money the legal way. Call Geico. A 15 minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Cream save us. Strawberries and cream. Uncle Max and Resolve Spot Magic. Resolve Spot Magic instantly removes the toughest stains right before your eyes. Sooner or later, you'll need Resolve Spot Magic. Even people who seem alike can have different nutritional needs. Ensure helps meet those needs. Like Ensure Plus with concentrated calories for energy and extra protein. It's a source of complete balanced nutrition. Ensure Plus. Drink to your health. Come on. I said I was sorry. Cat people know when you open a pouch of whiskas, you make peace. Eventually. Whiskas. Cat people know. Survivor's ready! Go! This Survivor is as good as the first season. And Thursday, find out why. One group thinks they control the game. There's a conspiracy going on! Plus, a high-flying challenge. <laughs> we'll give one castaway the shock of their life. All new Survivor, CBS Thursday. Hallmark Hall of Fame presents Ving Rhames, Patty Duke, and Gloria Rubin in the story of a family's journey back into each other's hearts. I love you. Little John, CBS May 5th. Do you mind if I have that muffin? Yeah. All right, this has gone on long enough, Katie. What? The silence. Something's bothering you, and it's got nothing to do with your fan mail. Okay. If you really must know, I've been thinking about something that you said about how things have to get worse before they get better. Why did you say that? Why does it have to be that way? Look, Dahlia wants people to believe that I killed her. You know? That's why she planted the keys in my bag. That's why she's, she's, she's put the blood stains in the rental car. If she's willing to go that far, then she's obviously not finished yet. What else can she do? I'm sure we'll know soon enough whether we want to or not. 
Baby, please, come here, come here. Can you please promise me one thing? I'll do my best. All right. If anything happens to make you suspicious of me, can you bring it to me first before discussing it with anyone else? Okay. I can do that. You do believe in me, don't you? Because without you by my side, this is gonna be very tough to get through. Oh, thank goodness you're here. You gotta help us quick. Hello, Rosanna. How's it going? I'm fine. Yourself? We're gonna have to make this quick. Certainly. I understand. You know, I've been reading about your daughter's trial in the newspapers. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Yes. Well, I doubt you're aware of this, but Craig Montgomery seems to have kidnapped Carly's son. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I was there, Molly. I saw it with my own eyes. Why? Margot Hughes seems to think that he did it to impress Carly. With Carly gone and Hal Munson still not being quite back to himself, I felt it was my duty to give Parker a stable home. So I got a court order allowing me to take care of Parker until his parents can take care of themselves. Apparently, Craig didn't like that. What do you want from me? Well, the police have been searching all night, and they still haven't found them. If Craig gets in touch with you, all I'm asking is that you just let me know. Oh, I see. You want me to help you steal Carly's son? No, uh, Craig Montgomery is the one that stole him. Everything I have done has been 100% legal. You like, but I would kidnap Parker myself if it meant keeping him away from you. What's the matter? Nothing, Mama. Thanks for coming by. What? What is it, Holden? Abigail is supposed to testify in a few hours. What does Aaron do? He takes her on a motorcycle ride. Well, it could have been her idea, maybe. Couldn't no, it? I specifically asked Abigail not to go anywhere, and she would not. Go against that, not unless she was encouraged. Hold it now, it's not the end of the world. I mean, she'll be back in plenty of time to go downtown. That's not the point. The point is, is that I'm trying to you know, be on Aaron's side here, and what does he do? He shows total disregard for my wishes. Holden, he's a teenager. Defiance for them is like breathing. Maybe. But I don't know if I want that in my life right now, Mama. I don't understand. I talked to Caleb, and he said he's coming out here to pick Aaron up. Oh. Does Aaron know? Yes. He does know, but he said he was not going to leave. How do you feel about him staying, motorcycle and all? Well, he's my son. I enjoy having him around. But he has to understand that we live under a certain set of boundaries here. How? Have you tried being specific with him, telling him what's expected of him and why? The serious talk, man to man, yeah. lay all the cards on the why table. Not? I have. I tried it. All I got were mumbles and the occasional whatever. Well, I guess you just have to be patient, like I was. Me? <laughs> oh, oh, the most frustrating teenager in history. But I, uh, I guess you turned out all right, didn't you? <laughs> I guess. I, that's because I had such a cold heart from mother. <laughs> that's because I didn't give up on you, even when you wanted me to. But... If you're not up to that kind of uh, parenting, I guess uh, it's better that Aaron go back to Seattle. Seems like everyone loves the feel of new improved Charmin. It's so much softer, you can actually feel the difference. Because Charmin now has new soft petals of silk. And that means a more comfortable clean than you ever imagined. New Charmin with petals of silk. Cha 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 Charmin! Once a baby discovers how to move, there's no stopping her. That's why Pampers created custom fit cruisers with sides up to three times stretchier than the leading regular brand. For a fit that follows her every move. Custom fit cruisers for the cruising stage.
With each new stage, a custom Pampers. We're right behind you every step of the way. Olivia's her dad, right down to her sensitive skin. For their clothes, I need something special. Downy free and sensitive. Smooths fibers so clothes feel soothing. Perfume free, dye free. Downy free and sensitive in the new white bottle. The arm's still strong, but sometimes the pain's even stronger. So I grab control with Advil. Not Tylenol, not Aleve. Nothing's proven stronger or lasts longer than Advil. You have the strength to get rid of pain. Take control. Take Advil. Just a few more. Uh, I should have used Preparation H. Preparation H medicated wipes with aloe. The easy way to cleanse, cool, and soothe. Easier because they're four times bigger than tux pads. Preparation <laughs> H medicated wipes. Big relief. I'm Father Time. Really? And I like things that last a really long time. 2,000 Flushes cleans up to four months. Others last up to five weeks. That's why it's 2,000 Flushes. For my throne. 2,000 Flushes. We measure in months, not weeks. New Trident White. Smile brighter. What promise did attorney Nick Fallon break? I don't have anything on me because I haven't done anything. That could destroy his father's trust. I gotta have somebody I can depend on. The Guardian. Then Judge Gray takes on her most unusual case ever. Since when is breastfeeding in public a crime? The child in question is six years old. Judging Amy after The Guardian, CBS Tonight. I've been doing all right with Abigail. No parenting issues there. Well, she's a different person. She has different needs. Well, I'm trying with Aaron ever since he got here. I'm trying to reach in and find out, but he, he's not making it easy. I don't have a clue how to do it. Oh, Holden, he doesn't want you to understand them. He doesn't want you to be his pal. He doesn't want you to be a role model. He's waiting for you to be a parent. Maybe you're right. He's waiting for you to take charge. That is going to be like trying to wrestle with an octopus. <laughs> I never said it was easy. I mean, it never is when you're the bad guy. Well, I know I can handle it. But the question is, can Aaron handle it? And if he can't? Well, then maybe Seattle, best place for him. I am not the villain here, Molly. My only objective has been to make sure that Parker is taken care of. Parker is taken care of. He has always been taken care of. Oh, how is that? By spending the first year of his life thinking that the wrong man was his father? By being passed from person to person during his mother's many misadventures? Parker is a bright, confident, well-adjusted little boy, Rosanna, and he didn't get that way by accident. He got that way by being loved. Well, I have never questioned Carly's love for her sister. Excuse me. Hello? Uh, hi, Rosanna, it's Margo. Listen, I just wanted to let you know that we did tra track down Craig and Parker to Lakeview Towers, and officers are on their way over to a suite now. Thank goodness. Uh, I really appreciate you letting me know. Sure, I thought maybe you'd want to come down to the station so that you can be here when Parker arrives. Absolutely, I will be there as, as soon as I possibly can. Thank you. Well, uh, they've been spotted at the Lakeview. The police are on their way there now. Well, I guess you won't be needing my help after all. No, I suppose not. You know, Molly, you can make any assumptions about me that you like, but I'm not here to cause trouble for Carly or for anyone else. I came to help Parker through a difficult time in his life, and that is what I'm going to do. The second that my brother and Parker are brought in, I gotta give Hal a call and tell him what's going on. There's a call on my private line. You have any idea what time that came in? Sorry, Detective, I've been doing other things. Sure, sure, haven't we all? Margo, it's Jack. I'm on my way to meet Stembeck. Barbara and Hal are with me. Surprised? Believe me, it wasn't my idea, but that's how it is, and I have to play it out. I'll check in soon. Try not to worry about us. 
Everything okay, detective? No, nothing's okay. Craig, what is Craig, going on? What, Why don't do you have trying to son? explain? The police are in the lobby. They're going to be up any minute. The, poli the police? What? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't kidnap this kid. No, I'm not. saving him from being snatched away from his mother. I thought Carly was away. Craig. Katie, what I don't have on? time to explain. i got to get Parker out of here. All uh, right, Craig, running is useless. If the police are that, you're never going to get away from here I'm now. I'm not going to run, Simon. You are. What? Now, Parker and I talked about this. You're going to take Parker to your little cottage in the woods oh. there. I'm going to get in touch with you later. No right? way. No, no way. Uh, no. no. I'm in enough trouble as it is. No oh, way. It's the police. Look, you are the only people who can help me here. You have to help me. Please don't stop. <clears throat> Come with thank me, okay? Thank okay. you, thank you. Thank you. Bye, Parker. <clears throat> okay, yes. We know you're in there, Montgomery. Open up! I hope you appreciate this, Carly, and soon.